What's up YouTube world, how y'all doing? In this video, I'll be swapping the RAM out of the ASUS RG Strike G18 gaming laptop. This gaming laptop comes with 16 GB of RAM on board, and it got two RAM slots, so each RAM was, is occupied by 8 GB of RAM, and they both single rank at a speed of 4800MHz. I'll be going to be swapping them out with these two right here, these are the G-Skill Rip Jaws DDR5 um, RAM. Now, this RAM got a speed of 5600 MHz with a CL of 40. And also, one thing I like about this, these are dual rank as well. So, what I'm going to do in this video, we're going to see if first, if this laptop will accept up to 64 GB of RAM. And we're going to see how fast they boot up with both RAMs. And then we're going to see if with these RAMs included, if there's a difference in FPS with these RAMs and the original RAM that comes with the gaming laptop. All right, let's get into it. So I took the RAM out of this gaming laptop and I want to show you guys, this is it right here. It comes with two Samsung 8 gigabyte RAM with a speed of 4800 MHz and they're both single rank. As you can see, you got the ranks on one side, the chips on one side, there's nothing on the other side, they're single rank. And with the Samsung, how can you know? You should see right there. You zoom in. If you look, you should see a 1R. That means a single rank. All right. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to put this back. So I'm going to show you the speed, how quick it boots up with this original RAM. And um, a few games are going to be trying out so we can see the FPS difference when I use this RAM and this RAM. So I got the original RAM back inside the gaming laptop. So now we're going to turn it on and we're going to see how fast it boots up with the original RAM. Three, two, one, go. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you that I have the original RAM back inside this gaming laptop. So let me just go ahead into DX Diag. And you can see right there on the screen, it tells you right there you got um, 16,384 megabytes of RAM, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM. All right, good. So now with that in tow, let me just go ahead and select just two games, just two games. And um, I'm gonna run them on um, battery mode. Because you can always get any FPS you want or almost the, the FPS that you want on battery mode. But the real test for me to see how much FPS I can get while it's on battery mode. All right, so we got 16 GBs of RAM, original. So let's go with my first game, which is gonna be Forza. So right now, let me just go back right here. I got it on silent mode, right? And uh, right now it's saying, oops, right now it's saying I got, uh, I'm getting at least 59 FPS. Let me just drive around a little bit. And this is just on battery mode. And this thing is buttery smooth and it looks so good. 
So I think I'm getting an average of 50, 59 FPS. But let us first go into the settings and look real quick. Just make sure that I got it on the highest. So right there on battery mode, 60 FPS. All right. So, so far so good. It's been stable. I'm getting 50, between 58 and 59. So round it off. Let's say it's 60, but it's very steady at 59 on battery mode. That is pretty decent so far. I kind of, it's nice. No hiccup, no slowdown or anything. I guess it's all thanks to the RTX 4080 graphics card. It's been pretty good. Steady 60 FPS. Very steady. So let me just get out of here real quick. And next game would be Spider-Man Miles Morales. So right here, let me just kill the lights a little bit. So let's go into settings and display and graphics. So I give it the full refresh rate of the monitor and um, it's 240. That's what it comes in with this laptop right here. The refresh rate is 240, it's at the max. And I put it at performance in the upscale quality. So let's get out of there real quick. And it's teetering between 29 and 30. All right. So far, so good. Still in the 30s. Now, let me just get out of here and put it on performance. Let's see if there's any difference. And that's what I, I forgot to put it on performance on the Forza. So my bad on that one. Let's go ahead. See if there's any difference in FPSs. So... Even on performance, there's not much, there's no increase. It's still stuck at, um, now it's dropping down to 25, 26, and the highs is 29. It, it didn't exceed 30. So that's the highs. Even with silent mode, even with silent mode, it still gives 30 on battery mode. So let me just go ahead right now and swap the RAMs, and then let's see. The difference in boot up and if there's a if the rams increase the fps on the games on this laptop before i proceed i just want to show you i got the 232 gb ram inside the gaming laptop so let's go ahead and do the boot up test now for the boot up test with the g skill rip jaw ram inside this gaming laptop we're going to start at three two one go All right, now I'm gonna go back into DX Diag and let's see what it says right here. It shows you right there on the screen, the memory, 65,536 megabytes, which is um, 64 gigabytes of, uh, gigabytes of RAM. So it can take up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So if you, if you got this laptop and you're wondering, What's the max you can take for right now is 64. So if you want to try higher, that's fine. But 64 is plenty enough for any laptop whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you're gaming, content creating, or whatever you're going to do. All right, so let's just go ahead and see what performance we can get out of it. Okay, you got to remember, this laptop, um, the motherboard have a limit of a speed that is limited to, which I believe is 5200 MHZ. And I just put a 5600 MHZ RAM on here with a CL of 40. So let's just go to task manager and see what's the speed that we're getting from this bad boy here. Let's go to task manager. So 
you want to go into performance let me blow it up a little bit for you real quick so as you can see let me just get this out of the way so you can see i got 64 gigabytes of ram all right so it's you see it uh, recognizes it on the bottom of on the bottom where you see speed 5200 mhz and slots use two of two so it's using all it's using both slots and the maximum speed um you can the maximum speed allotted is 5200 mhz which is still not bad that's still pretty good in my opinion so let's get out of here real quick and then let me just unplug it get it back into battery mode and get this thing up here and let's go back to Forza Horizon 5. So, right off the jump, let me go ahead and select uh, silent, and I'm oh, I jumped up to almost seventy nine. Whoa! All right, so let me just drive around a little bit. I'm at fifty nine, solid fifty nine, ain't going nowhere. So you get a steady frame rate, even though I'm sliding around. I'm not such a good driver, as you can see. So just driving for a little bit. It's solid at 59 with the previous RAM is fluctuate between 58 and 59 but on silent mode it's a solid 59 see it will jump to 60 so so it's very stable so I guess the I guess the RAM doing its job and uh, we got we have up to 64 on board so there should be no problem at all it is very stable right now at 59 let me see if there's a difference when I put it in performance mode all right, let us. Ooh, whoa, whoa, ow! All right. So in performance mode, it's still the same. It doesn't matter if you put it on silent or performance. Still getting fifty nine, and see, it still go to sixty every now and then. But it, it does see a little stutter a while a while ago, but not much. So the, it is it's fluctuating between fifty nine and sixty. Still running off to sixty. You don't see the period period drop to 55, but for the most part, it's it's right there up on 60. So just put it back on silent mode for a little bit. It's still holding its own. And you can see sometimes it jumps. So alright. Just for the heck of it, while we're watching it, let me just go ahead and connect it to the power mode. Like some, give me some juice just for the heck of it and um, let's go into settings so it's so a turbo mode kicking now let's go into video it's not going to show it right here I would have to reset the game first but I'm not going to reset the game to just show you something so right now with turbo mode kicking I'm getting 140 41 43 so it gives me something solid in the 100s. So it's fluctuated up and down. The highest I've got so far is 164. Snap! Just with the power on. So let me just go ahead and switch modes real quick. Let me switch to performance with, with, power, with, power, with some juice on and power mode. So performance getting like in 120, 130. 
all right 136 highest so it's in it's in a range of one in the 120s or 130s with um, performance mode let's go into silent mode so it's still playing around a little bit in I noticed in silent mode it tends to perform a little bit better than performance mode for some odd reason because I'm getting nothing but um high mid uh, mid to high 130s with silence but in performance it plays it plays in between the 120s and a little 130s every now and then so I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if you're trying to play catch up or whatnot but I think it's stabilizing now it should be stabilizing so now I'm getting like in the 80s and silence I guess I guess it got, I guess it got a way to cool down so in reality now since it's calm since it calmed down I'm getting like 80s and that's just on silent let's go back up let's go back to performance let's double a little bit double a little bit on um, performance and it's it's right there in the one six one twenties one thirties see food around it went up to 148 not much really so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fling it back into turbo mode real quick on Forza of Forza is a graphically intense game it, you, it, it's very demanding so so turbo mode it's I'm getting at least in the 130s 138 140 so with turbo mode you can expect to get something in the range of between the high mid 130s to board until low 140s on power mode which is pretty impressive just on power mode which is so there's a big improvement so I didn't want to do it in power mode but I just did it to show you guys so I'm going to disconnect it now and run it strictly on battery for the next game which is going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales So it's silent. I'm getting in the high 30s. Let's see what's going on here. So no, it, no, it's no, it's settled. I'm getting solid 30, solid 30. All right, almost the same as the last one with the 16, but just on battery mode. So let's just try performance. All right, let's see what see what the perform performance is like on battery mode. Sometimes these things take a while, so I'm going to give it a few seconds, swing around a little bit, and so far not much has changed yet. Maybe I'm just being impatient. So it's kind of struggling in between. But like I said, for some odd reason, look like for certain games, when I select silent, it performs better than on performance. So, so it's C on silent is doing a little bit better. It's, it's trying its best to stay at least at 30. But on performance, it's struggling. It was like in the 20s. But on silent, it's still holding strong at 29 and 30. So maybe there's some issues. Maybe there's something I need to tweak here in settings. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe just maybe bring down the refresh rate a little bit. On um, let me just try put it on balance. Let's see if there's any difference. All right. So there's not much of a difference even on balance, and even I lower the refresh rate on the monitor. No, it's no, it's at a solid thirty, and still doing the same thing, twenty nine thirty. Let's see any difference with performance mode since I just do some changes. See, it's going to do that because it's got to adjust itself a little bit. 
Ah, oh, no. And you know, just for the heck of it, why not me just connect some juice to it? Put some power to this thing right here, so. Yeah. But first, give it um, silent, silent mode. God dang, that thing looks pretty, man. So with, with power mode, um, with, the plug, with the power plugged in, on silent, I'm getting at least 118, 122 FPSs. And it fluctuates. The lowest I've seen so far is 106. And um, the highest I've seen is 118 so far. So that's, that's, that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and select performance mode and see what's the deal. Pretty much the same so far. 115, 113, 118. So to me, it looks like, um, to me, it looks like the performance is, is a weak boy right here. Let me just see what they look like in turbo and then I end the video real quick. And one thing, once you put these RAMs in, the fan tends to work a little bit harder because I guess it's, it's drawing more power or whatnot. So it may take a look a while, but on average, the highest I've just see is 120 on turbo mode. Maybe if I swing around a little bit, I may see some some increase in FPS. But for right now, nothing doing. So I guess there is a difference. I've seen a difference. The game feel even smoother, and um, I think that's the most I'm gonna get out of, out of Miles Morales. But just for the sake of it, let me just go back and oops, let me just go back and give it the full full Monty treatment and put it back on performance and i'm going to do ultra ultra performance just regular performance and let's see if we see any difference and end this video it really feels really good so it's still in the same ballpark like 110 120 ish same ballpark even with turbo mode on so i guess even with silent it still performs very well with silent and uh, I think that that's my, going to be my go-to right now because nobody want to hear the fan blasting in their ears. And the fan can get, re can get pretty low because, like I said, these rams draw more power. You know what I mean? So I'm still getting roughly the same perform FPS. Like I see the highest right now, I just saw 117, 119. So it's not pretty stable, but I guess I don't know what if it's... I'm not sure what it is, but you can see... There is, the RAMs make a difference in, in the performance. And you get an extra FPS. Everything just feels smoother, boots up faster. I would say it's worth it. And especially with 64, if you're the person that do content creating or 3D or whatever you, you do with your laptop, this is, going to, this is going to make a difference. And this bad boy is screaming right now, which I'm very impressed with. So that's where I'm going to end this video. So yes. You can add up to 64 gigabytes of RAM on this laptop. Will there be a performance difference? Yes, it, yes, you will see it. It may be noticeable. It may not be noticeable, but there is a difference. So as I demonstrate to you guys, it's a pleasure having you tuning into my channel. I hope you enjoy what you see. So just go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And share your comments. Let me know what you think. And hit up the like button so this, so this video can get boosted up into the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video, up, um, next computer, software updates, firmware update, RAM update video. Thanks for, thanks for watching.